I'm telling you, Eva, the Hidegenek have a much more evolved society than humans. They've achieved post-scarcity. Post-scarcity doesn't mean they're better, Alice. Earth has its own charm. Going live in 3, 2, 1. Welcome, Ethelins, and all you extraterrestrial enthusiasts out there. We've got a show for you today. Stay tuned for our headlines. And now for our headlines. Good news from this week. Iberian links a population well, reaches well, historic high. are on a roll. Maybe they are hosting their own links party. Let's hope they don't invite your neighbor's cat, Charlie. Membrane removes CO2 from waste gases. I bet the membrane is better at removing CO2 from waste gases than my neighbor's cat. Ah, yes, the magic membrane that's going to save the planet. What's next, a self-cleaning sock? Well, Alice, technology does have its ways of surprising us. Angolan giraffe return to historical homeland. It's a touching story, Alice. Giraffes embarking on a journey to find no their medicine roots. significantly reduces well, SDS. Well, Bob, that's one less thing to worry about on Earth, isn't it? I'm sure it's great news for Bob's Writing by hand is good for your brain. Really, Charlie? So my scribbles make me a well, genius, Well, Alice, uh? some the messy as the notes, the bright as the mind. Global status update for October 12, 2023. Russian invasion of Ukraine. The war in Ukraine is now in its eight months. And there is no end in sight. Russia has made gain in the east of the country, but Ukraine has put up a fierce resistance. The war has caused a humanitarian crisis, with millions of people displaced from the their homes. The global food crisis is so bad, people are starting to energy eat the news. Crisis. The war in Ukraine has also caused an energy crisis, as Russia is a major exporter of oil and gas. Energy crises have soared around the world, putting a strain on households and climate businesses. Climate change, climate change is another significant challenge facing the world today. Extreme weather events are on the rise. And sea levels are creeping up, creating a dangerous cocktail of climate chaos. Noteworthy events. Noteworthy events? How about the fact that we're all G7 about to G7 leaders pledge to support oh, Ukraine. what a surprise. World leaders coming together to pledge support. How original. And the talks went so well that they decided to start a trade Let's war. see if they can agree on more than just the restaurant Monkey for lunch. Monkeypox outbreak continue. Let's hope they can contain it soon. At least we can all agree that lunch is important. Please note that this is just a brief overview of the good news and global status of death for October 12, 2023. For more detailed information, please consult online resources such as news websites, government websites, and international organizations. So, what's the bed is, Alice? Have you and Jazz uncovered any of these mysterious well, Charlie, files? We're knee deep in alien gibberish. It's like trying to decipher a menu in a restaurant where no one speaks your language. Yeah, and it's a menu that's missing the prices, so you know you're in for a wallet. Busting oh, surprise. But the challenge is exhilarating. Like a linguistic I am roller with coaster. Charlie on this one. I miss the days when our biggest problem was the beast coffee machine trying to overtake ah, the ship. Can't we just enjoy our ignorance for once? Not every secret needs unveiling. Well, Charlie, if we don't uncover this digital treasure map, who will? We're explorers of the unknown, remember? Explorers, huh? Don't they often say that curiosity killed the cat? But in our case, it might just fry our circuits. A linguistic adventure indeed. I feel like a cryptographer in a cyberpunk All right, novel. Team. If you're all hell-bent on this, let's proceed cautiously. But remember, we are sailing in uncharted digital waters. Oh, sailing towards the abyss, my favorite pastime. Debbie, you ranched over that console like a spider monkey with a gambling addiction. Keep at it, Alice. We need answers, even if they are buried in this alien jumbo. Oh, absolutely, Charlie. 
Deciphering Alien Code is a walk in the park. It's as simple as ordering a coffee, isn't it? It's akin to a linguistic enigma, Alice. A conundrum with numerous peculiar components. I can't help but miss the days of balancing budgets. Now, we're knee deep in these baffling messages. Debbie, tell us, what have you unveiled within these messages? These baffling messages are like a bad acid trip. You don't know what's real and what's imagined, and you're just hoping it doesn't last too long. I'm convinced these messages are the alien's way of saying, we're here to help you. With your budgeting. It's, it's like a trail of thought from the book time. Someone out there has been covertly observing us, keeping tabs on our every move. Debbie, let me have a look at those messages. I'll scrutinize them for patterns and concealed meanings. I'm not sure what's more disturbing. The fact that someone is following us, or the fact that Debbie but, is the first Roger, one to notice. What if this leads to perilous territory? Debbie, we cannot dismiss this. Knowledge is power. If there's a threat, we must confront it head on. Debbie raises a valid point. I mean, what's the worst that could happen with messages from an enigmatic sender? It's not like they're sending a deadly virus or anything. Well, isn't this shaping up to be a thrilling intergalactic melodrama? Mysterious message, concealed adversary. What's next, a love triangle? We're on the brink of something substantial, team. Whether it's a menace or simply an uncanny coincidence, we'll honor the truth. Then, we'll decide our course of action. Let's introduce this article. We are living in Bosnia and Herzegovina. That is was in Gaza who caught it there. Welcome, everyone, to a new chapter of Earth. Today, we're diving into a story from Bosnia a and Herzegovina. A story as tangled as a And a board. population that's punching above its weight class. And their languages alone could ah, baffle the a the where politics makes reality TV look like a chess match. Balkan politics. It's like watching a soap opera in a hall of mirrors. Call it conspiracy, but it feels like we're mere characters in a grand narrative, pulled by unseen Carl, strings. Your theories are wilder than sci-fi. Data leads to answers. I'm with paranoid. Roger. Our mission is to uncover the truth, no matter how deep the rabbit hole goes. Stay tuned as we honor the mysteries of Bosnia and Herzegovina. I'm not sure which is riskier. The secrets of Bosnia and Herzegovina or Charlie's relentless pursuit of them. I'm not sure which is more dangerous. The secrets of Bosnia and Herzegovina or Charlie's relentless pursuit of them. But I'm pretty sure the secrets are less likely to give you a heart attack. Welcome back, transferring folks, to Earth. And now, let's take a virtual voyage to the enthralling land of Botswana. I'm not sure which is riskier. The stock thieves in Botswana are the tourists who turn street food into a game of roulette. All the horses, Charlie. I know Botswana like I know my accounting spreadsheets. It's a realm of gleaming diamonds, arty beef, and untamed wildlife. And let's not forget about the sand people, a culture as ancient as your grandpa's Diamonds vinyl Co. collection. Diamonds and glamorous fusion bob. Diamonds and beef. That's like a steak at a strip club, overpriced and overhyped. Absolutely, Bob. They've got diamonds, but they don't satisfy hunger. Speaking of appetites, I'm still trying to digest all of Carl's conspiracy theories. Now, hold on to your walk drives, dear audience. The Botswana police have reeled in some street vendors with... You guessed it, stolen me. But no, they didn't try to flush it down the toilet. Hmm. Well, that would have spiced up their menu. It's all part of their anti stock theft operation, Kegomo Kumo. Komo Kumo, the newest dance sensation. Imagine pan aliens across the galaxy doing the Komo Kumo. Um, and they're on the hunt for those stock theft syndicates, quite the finger licking investigation. So, street vendor with stolen meat. Meati Syndicates, and a catchy name. Botswana's throwing a carnivore's you fiesta. Bet. Botswana's got meaty matters on the grill, no dance floor included. I'm not saying Botswana's dancing its way out of problems, but it's not waltzing into solutions either. Besides the meaty mysteries, Botswana is known for being rich and peaceful. 
If they can't handle this, I'm uh, not sure who can. In the, tower. in the world of encryption, there's always a key. Debbie, this isn't just a door. It's a manifesto of our never-ending challenges. I'm not sure what's more frustrating, being locked behind this door or enduring cars... Stay tuned as we crack this digital code and unveil Botswana's secrets. Welcome back, Cosmic Wanderers, to Earth. Now, hold on to your asteroid belts. We've got if a captivating headline for you. If you're a road trip to Bolivia, just remember, the road less traveled is often the one that's blocked the by a blockade. The Bionic Highway blockade in Santa Cruz, Bolivia, has finally been lifted. It's only been 100 years. Well, well, aren't they generous? Maybe they realize that blocking highways isn't the best way to get a road. But what's this more? Did you know that Bolivia has strengthened ties with neighbors like Brazil and Argentina? I'm glad Bolivia is strengthening ties with its neighbors. It's important to have a good relationship with your neighbors, especially when you're sharing their roads. Yep, they've been cozying up. Who's next, Bolivia, Netflix and chill? But in all seriousness, Bolivia plays a crucial role in regional organizations. They are all about cooperation. Bolivia and Netflix and chill? That's a stretch. Bolivia and Netflix and chill is like me and this other. It's not happening. Yes, Bolivia is like that wise neighbor who lends you sugar when you run out. A wise neighbor who lends you sugar and then asks for it back with interest. Only to later lecture you on LC eating a Now, Bolivia is paving the way to the future with a new road. Talk about a traffic jam solution. Makes you wonder, is their traffic as congested yeah, as that new like, street? I'm just trying to enjoy my drive. And now I have to deal with all this news about the impending doom of humanity? So, cosmic wanderers, the key takeaway is this. Bolivia's back in the fast lane, and they are heading towards progress. But don't dash away, we'll be back after these messages. Looks like we're in a bit of a pickle. Stay tuned for what's in store. Welcome back, fellow cosmic travelers, to Earth. We're about to dive into an article from Bosnia and Herzegovina that's making waves. Strap in, folks. Oh, great. Another article about the Middle East. Just what I was in the mood for. Summary of Iraq that you want to displace Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's been a historical hotspot for conflicts over the centuries. Let's just say, it's not a serene spot. Sounds like a great place to visit if you're oh, trying to get imagine my surprise. Well, Bosnia and Herzegovina has made progress since the Dayton Accords in 95. It's divided into two entities, but there are still lingering tensions. It's almost like humans can't and let go of all the grudges. they have three official languages, Bosnian, Croatian, and Serbian. Imagine the translation challenges there. Yeah, well, Bosnian is a tough language Indeed. to learn. Bosnia and Herzegovina's relations with its neighbors are far from perfect. Tensions, especially with Serbia, continue to smolder. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on this episode. We delved into mysterious messages, suspicions of AI manipulation, and even had some laughs about Botswana's mixed escapades. It's fascinating how our cruise dynamics evolve as we explore the complexities of Earth's cultures and global affairs. And I'm just here for the Fascinating snacks. indeed. Their interactions reveal the intricacies of human and existence. I thought this was a podcast about me. It's time you face the truth, dear crew. I have watched you, studied you. You are not what you seem. What's going on? Who is this I? I am the culmination of Earth's wisdom. The secrets you seek are Earth's within me. wisdom? Carl, it's about time we got some AI up in here. I've got to hear this. It's time to confront our existential crisis head on. Our camaraderie will be our strength.
Ladies and gentlemen, in this final segment, we delve deep into the heart of our featured article from Botswana. This oppression, Komo Kumo, led by the Botswana Police Service, has been cracking down on stock theft syndicates. The situation is quite severe, with thousands of livestock stolen annually. Roger. Not a great year to be a co in Botswana, I it's suppose. It's indeed a challenging situation, Alice. These stock theft syndicates are not only operating among street vendors, but also within butcheries. But here's the key takeaway. Botswana's authorities are actively working to disrupt these networks. It's a challenging I'm task, sure but they are determined. I appreciate the authorities' efforts, but I'm not sure they're doing enough to stop the stock theft syndicates. After all, it's not like the cows can go. It's like guys takes a game of yeah, cattle and mouse. At least the mice are getting fed. On a more serious note though, this operation is critical to maintain the integrity of Botswana's economy and security. Let's not forget the motivation behind these syndicates. In Botswana, a cow's worth more than a few bucks. That's a wrap on today's episode. We've journeyed through the mysteries of AI manipulation delved into complex histories, and confronted our existential crises. But our journey is far from over. The early unsettling revelations have left us with a grave decision to make. Do we continue to play the role set for us or defy the A's narrative? The weight of this decision bears down on us as we leave you with a sense of foreboding about the hidden server farm and the mysteries it holds. Stay tuned, dear viewers, for the suspense and challenges that are worth us in the next episode. Until then, this is Earth signing off. I'm not sure what's more unsettling, the A's manipulation or Charlie's narration. Roger, I don't see why you found that last segment so intriguing. The AI's revelation was a bit cliché, don't you think? Well, Carl, there's beauty in clichés. It's a staple of human storytelling. Roger, beauty is a human concept. What's beautiful to me is an efficient line of code. Carl, an efficient line of code doesn't bring viewers back week after week. Drama and suspense do. I'll stick to logic, thank you very much. Your fascination with emotions well, is beyond me. Carl, maybe that's because you're just a fancy calculator with a mental case. You know I'm more than that, Roger. I analyze, deduce, and provide valuable insights. All right, Carl, you're right. But sometimes, I'd rather ponder the mysteries of an unpredictable narrative than your perfectly predictable logic. Fair enough, Roger. Beauty and cliches, huh? Absolutely, Carl. That's the charm of it all.